Okay, you gotta excuse me, I'm dying of a cold. Sinus is driving me nuts, but I had such an issue finding the right tool to pull this hub off. This is a 2003 Lincoln Navigator uh, rear uh, hub, has to come off the bearing. It's, it's a hub bearing one unit uh, that I ordered, but the axle would not punch out of the center of the hub. Searched online for reviews, for suggestions on how to do it. Gave up one day after pounding on it for three hours with a sledgehammer to the point where I was damaging the end of the axle and I had to re-thread it with the bolt by taking the bolt off using that pipe you can see on the breaker bar. I had to use that long pipe as an extension to give me more leverage and oh, it's still, it was murder getting the bolt off but it re-threaded the end of the axle and I was able to put the bolt back on and bolt it back up and I went on my journey to a few different mechanics to see if they could do the job, uh, explained to them what the deal was, and they all gave me the same type of warning that they may have to destroy the axle to get it out because the hub can mechanically weld to the shaft of the axle, meaning uh, just from the force over the years, this truck has 180,000 miles on it. It's like perfect everywhere else, but things are going on it now. Rebuilt the whole front end, front hubs came off beautiful. Did all the ball joints up front, upper control arms with new ball joints and bushings. Everything comes off and goes back together pretty easy. This is the first back breaker that I have to deal with on this truck. Uh, so I looked up these tools called OTC. Uh, there's two numbers, 7394 and 6574. I'm looking at them and I, I can't understand what the difference is. The 7394 claims to be heavy duty, where you don't see that HD indication on the 6574, but the 6574 comes with the hammer wrench. And what the hammer wrench is, is this tool right here. Because what I'm reading is, it'll get to the point where I could actually break my breaker bar before snapping the axle out of the hub. Uh, the claim is this has 40,000 pounds of force. Trying to put 40,000 pounds of force onto the breaker bar, no matter how long of a pipe I put on it, we could end up breaking the breaker bar at this point. So to be prepared for that, I wanted the hammer wrench. This will let us put it on. Let me take this off here. I'm still going to try cranking with this in a few minutes and see if I can break it loose. But if I can't, this goes on. And then you can strike this with a sledgehammer and put the force on it to spin that enough to hopefully pop the spleen out, uh, the spline uh, axle out. So you have the 7394 and the 6574 you're going to see. Only the 6574 comes with that hammer wrench. The 7394 is, claims to be heavy duty, so I was trying to order the 7394 and then order that hammer wrench separately. You won't find it. I tried searching it everywhere. You just won't find it. Uh, so I bought the 6574 and decided it's going to be heavy duty, hopefully, and it is. The, the thing weighs about 10 pounds when it's off the vehicle. I had to order an additional leg. The reason you need the additional leg, that additional leg part number is 32937. And it's the same leg that you would use on the 7394 or the 6574. So again, I'm thinking it's the same tool and the part number is just giving you the hammer wrench. Uh, the whole tool with three legs, both tools come with three legs. So it'll work on a five lug vehicle. You can't just go with two legs I have a six lug vehicle. So if I try to use two legs, it would be going off center as I'm trying to put force on it. You need that third leg minimum. On a five lug wheel, you'll be fine. When you have a six lug wheel, if I tried to use only three legs, I wouldn't be able to center up the uh, screw bolt center on the axle. So it's very important that you have that fourth leg if you have a six lug vehicle. Now, what I did was I just ordered two of these complete. They want $50, $60 for one leg. From Zorro Tools, I ordered two 
at $115 each, complete tools. So I ordered a complete tool with three legs, including the hammer wrench, for $115. I ordered a second one along with it, free shipping. So for, I would have spent somewhere around $180 to order one tool and one leg from another company that was selling it on eBay. I ended up getting two complete tools with two hammer wrenches, two drive nuts, two complete assemblies. So now I took one of those legs, added it to my three, and I have my four legs. I could actually take and put six legs on if I need to and attach to each lug nut and just to try to save the lugs, I don't care. Those, those bolts are coming off with the wheel hub. So what you're looking at is where I took one complete tool plus the leg from a second complete tool, put it on so I have my four uh, legs hooked up, which of course then puts me dead center with the axle. Again, it won't work with three legs on a six lug wheel, so don't even bother trying. You'll be upset. Now, if I try to do this with the breaker bar, it's already getting very hard for me to crank. So I was going to go to the um, hammer wrench into my uh, sledgehammer, but I'm going to try to give it a few more cranks and see if we get lucky. They say you could use an impact on this. Uh, I don't have an impact socket, as you could tell, so I'm not going to put it on an impact gun and run with it and have it blow up in my face, the socket. Plus, I really don't want to move that fast. I'll be happy if the thing breaks. I just uh, spent two days hitting with a sledgehammer, so this will be absolutely wonderful. Mechanics were preparing me for four hours worth of labor to break the hub loose possible and was also preparing me for a new axle saying that they may destroy the axle taking it out so at another 500 five six hundred bucks there by the time i was done i was looking at well over a thousand bucks i said i'll buy the two tools for uh, 230 dollars and at least have control of it in my hands if i wreck the axle which i did actually order a new axle to have here as well so if i destroy the axle doing this I have the new axle to put in as well. I'm still well ahead of the game from having a mechanic charge me insane amount of money to do basically the same thing. And I wonder if they even have these tools. I'm going to leave this entire vid hole like this because I hate when people pause the video and jump ahead and it's all off and they tell you it was easy, but you didn't actually get to see it. Just broke the breaker bar, I think, yep. So there you have it. The one guy that reviewed it said that without the hammer wrench, and I'm out of breath, without the hammer wrench it's useless because you're going to break your breaker bar, okay? So he was absolutely right. I got to make sure to go to the review he commented on and tell him he's exactly right. So now I'm at this hammer wrench. I can't find my five pound sledge, so I'm going with the big boy. And this could take some time. Of course, I have the truck on jack stands, and I left the jack underneath there as well just to. 
probably be a good idea for me to put the jack under the hub, take away some of the bounce. Let me actually do that. The bounce takes away from striking force. Okay, lowering my jack. Be patient for a second, people. Okay, so now I put the jack under the lower control arm so that hopefully that gives us less bounce, which means more power transmitted to each blow on this hammer wrench. Telling you, this is like if it's welded on. Still dead center on that axle. And I've been spraying liquid wrench prior to turning the video on. So hopefully that soaks in there and works around the rust and corrosion. Okay. I never do these reviews, by the way. This is one of my first ones, and only because I know there's going to be some other guys and women out there that will uh, maybe appreciate the part numbers and the explanation of the tool and the different legs and the need of this. Wow, that is something else. Might be better with the five pound, the small sledge, because we could get more, uh, more of a swing on it, but I can't find mine, unfortunately. That's the brake pads falling out of the brake shoe, uh, out of the caliber. I think that was it. That was it, folks. She popped loose, which is absolutely Amazing, because I'm telling you, nothing else would do it. Not gonna lie to you, I'm dying. 
but she's out. Now, I probably pushed it back as far as it's willing to go. Now I'm gonna take out the four bolts that hold the hub in. I tried it both ways earlier, hitting it while it was loose to give a little bit more travel for the axle. Didn't make a bit of difference. I wanted it bolted up tight so it's held solid while I'm striking the, the hammer wrench with the hammer. Now I could take those four bolts out and probably push it the rest of the way without pushing the axle any closer to the center differential, to the center rear, okay? So, you've seen it firsthand. Again, not gonna lie to you, I'm dead, but it's broke loose without destroying the axle, from what I could tell, and I'm ready for my new hub, hopefully without having to replace the axle. But again, I have the axle if I need it. Okay, folks, hope this helps you.